In this code sample we shall see how we get a method info object that represents a specific method in class string and then execute that method on a specific string object passing over 4 and 6 as arguments. The first line creates an object of the type type we actually have a local variable that is assigned with a type object and this type object represents the type string this type object represents string later we create an array size 2 that holds two references for two type objects an array with the size 2 that holds two references for two type objects each one of them represents int then calling get method on this specific object, an object that represents the type string, calling get method passing over substring and a reference for this specific array, get method executed on this object returns a method info object the method local variable is assigned with a reference for a method info object that represents the substring method that was declared in string with two parameters of type int. local variable method all the reference for an object and it is a method info object a method info object that represents the method substring with two int parameters that was declared in string therefore method.invoke actually executes the substring method on this specific object and the arguments passed over are 4 and 6. The return value is then printed out to the screen. Let's see how does it work. As we can see, substring was executed on uh, this specific string. The arguments passed over are 4 and 6 meaning we get a substring starting a, a, at 4 and lasts uh, 6 characters.